You sure? Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney, you there? Barney? Aiden, you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain yeah. everything.
Hmm. <laughs> 
you no way would you have done to him. Maybe I... Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fucker would Lucas deserve to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Uh, Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. 
and so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. to be shy. You have a keen eye, my boy. A critical purchase. You are... Tell all your friends. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling. You want to get. Mm, can't find your kids? They went out to play earlier and haven't come back yet. Usually they come right away when I call. Boys! Game's over! Come out! Mo! Scott! You hear me? Scott! Where are you? This isn't funny! When did you see him last? God! Hours ago. Normally they'd be back by now, but I've looked everywhere. Do you think something happened? 
Maybe you've seen them. Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Uh, no, but boys their age they do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but... Oh, my birthday's coming up, and... It'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise for me. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. They sometimes play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. And you're supposed to be an only child. If you had been, I'd only be half as worried right now. Did you really pull Barney out of a dark zone? How'd that happen? I didn't have water in two days. Everything started to shrivel up. Aiden? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie? What's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Trump? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Buddy! Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids, uh, Scott and Mo. Mo? He's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You seen him today? Today? No. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know, Buddy? Buddy's my dog. Yep, you told me. Listen, any idea where Mo and Scott might have gone? No clue. I haven't seen anyone today. Not even Buddy. Have you seen Buddy? Been looking for holes in the ground, because dogs like to dig them. Figured if I found a hole, Buddy wouldn't be far away. Oh, and you know how dogs have a great sense of smell? They can track people, find bones. It's true they can smell fear, too. Uh, no, haven't seen him. But I'll keep an eye out. I gotta go now. I'm pretty busy at the moment. Wait! I just got an idea! The Bazaar Gate, of course! Why would Mo and Scott be at the Bazaar Gate? I don't know. I'm talking about Buddy. There's bones all over the place there because of... Well, you know. Buddy digs like crazy by the gate. Sorry, kid. I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me, but Scott and Mo think it's hilarious. Wait, so Scott and Mo may not have come out here after all? Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry. As soon as I find them, Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend, too. Sophie has interesting people working for her. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Look who's here. Welcome to the Bazaar, Pilgrim.
We are gathered here to honor the memory of one of our own, who death has claimed. We all knew Dominica, her ill-timed jokes often made but her smile lit the darkest days of the bazaar. Something's going down. Finding herself. Don't take this sucker a shallow grave. <laughs> Looking for you. Mo! Scott! Mo. Still nothing. God. I don't like this. Your mother sent me. Where's your brother? We we played uh, and the dog ran off and Mo! Which floor is Mo on? Uh second floor or no, th third or maybe fourth? I don't know. Please help my brother, mister. Go back to the bazaar. I'll find him. I promise. Watch out for the infected, mister. Oh, my God. 